What's going on, man? What do you, what do you think about oh. that? Knuckle touch. Oh yeah, pound it, pound it, knuckles. Oh. oh, he's taking the bag. Oh, it's a baby. All right, guys, my mom is waiting over here. She doesn't know who she's about to see. All right, open your eyes. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's a beautiful day here. I'm Landon Chair, and this is my mom. My mom has never been to the zoo before. Obviously, if you guys follow the channel, you'll know that I work at a zoo. I work with all sorts of cool animals, and my mom has only got to experience that just like you guys through these videos. So today, for Mother's Day, I'm taking her over there to enjoy the animals with me, show her around, and then hopefully she'll be able to come back more in the future and enjoy it with me and my sister and everyone else. We've never set up the time to actually do it. It's not that she's not allowed to come. ZWF is open to all guests. So if you guys are out in Miami and you wanna check out the zoo, well come down, check it out. The link is right down below. But anyway guys, my mom's gonna hop in her car. I've gotta take a separate car and I'll see you guys when we get to the zoo. So we're in the truck now. My mom is actually there right behind me. But guys, I'm super excited to be finally getting my mom over to the zoo. She's never met Mario, who's a good friend of mine. Mario is one of the owners of ZWF Miami. She's never met any of these animals up close except for Limbani one time a long time ago. She doesn't really have any idea what to expect for today. I'm going to surprise her with a lot of really cool experiences and little animals. So you guys are just going to have to stay tuned through the whole thing. Going to be really, really cool. I can't wait. And it's just such a special moment for me, opportunity for me. You guys are going to see how how amazing this place is as we go through it today and it's gonna make you want to come so with that being said guys I'll see you there so we've just got checked in my mom's all ready to go she's got all this stuff in her hands we've got a little tube here with something inside that we're gonna explain later she doesn't really know what it's for we've got a bag here that has some worms in it that we're about to use right now and we got a big piece of chicken that we're gonna use later you guys are just gonna have to see what it's for my mom doesn't really know right now we're starting the tour and we're at the squirrel monkeys. Now these little guys are from South America and they love eating little insects, lizards, anything they can get their little hands on. Can you see, can I see your little hand? Can I see your little hand? You can see they have all that yellow. That yellow is actually a lot of urine that they rub on themselves and natural coloration. They're beautiful little monkeys. If you open that up, my mom's uh, kind of shy on camera. Put your hand out flat. Oh, oh there he goes. <laughs> Put your hand out flat. So she has some granola pieces there that she's giving him. Oh, he said that one's mine. These little guys are just too cute. Look at that little face. Now what they really like are those mealworms in there. Grab one of those worms. Hmm. <laughs> My mom's not a huge fan of bugs. She hates roaches, but she's doing it for the YouTube. So guys, you gotta give her a lot of credit. <laughs> Guys, this is a whole new experience for her. Vanessa's laughing in the background. My mom has never experienced any of these exotic animals up close like I've got to, but she has a lot of experience with dogs. She started livepositively.com, which is where I've been promoting our dog treats together. We're giving these guys some little treats. These guys can't eat the dog treats exactly, but they love their granola and worms. Oh, oh he's taking the bag. Oh, there you go, nice. Give it to him. He said, oh, I'll eat that up. So cool, guys. Let's keep going. So we're at the next enclosure now. You can see we're in this shaded area over here, and you guys have seen this enclosure before. I'm actually going to take my mom a little behind the scenes since we can. But usually, if you're on the regular tour, you'd be able to sit right there, right next to these big girls and boy. Oh, look at this big girl. I don't think, mom, have you ever seen a lion before? No. Not Maybe at a zoo somewhere else, but not this close. These cats are just beautiful. Now, what I have, if you could open up that chicken for me. These guys aren't eating mealworms and granola like the last little monkeys. This is what they smelled. Now they're all over here because they smell this chicken. Zulu, if you guys have not met him before, is our big Lion King here. My mom's going ahead and taking some selfies there because she's so happy to see these guys. Now Zulu wants a big piece of chicken, I think. I can't give it to you because you're not the king and I only brought one piece so I have to feed you guys later. You guys have seen me feed these guys, these girls a bunch. Zulu, what's going on? What's going on? What do you, what do you think about oh. that? Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty scary noise. Let's see Zulu. You want some of that? Mom. What do you think of that, Tam? 
It's crazy. <laughs> oh, Zulu's liking that. You can see we don't declaw any of our big cats. I'm gonna try to stick this through the fence here. Oh, and there we go. Down like a chicken nugget. And this one's licking the fence. I gotta get you some more. I know, sweetheart. I know, sweetheart. You can see my mom's sitting, watch her fingers, just being the mom that she is. I'm a trained professional, but yes, guys, do be careful. If you guys are in a position like this, do not do this unless you are, for some reason, a trained professional. The girls are just hanging out over here at the pond. You can see in Bali there, Zulu's coming over, big boy. On this hot day, they love going in the pond and just hanging out. My mom's asking me all sorts of questions as a normal tourist would, as you guys kind of do, so it's kind of nice answering all the questions about how they get fed, how they hang out, how the Thai Liger can live with these big guys. If you guys want to find out more, check out some of the other videos. I'll kind of go through most of it today, but I cover all of it in our prior videos because I love these guys so much and I always hang out with them. My mom is covering her eyes right now so that she's a little surprised. Hold this. Cover your eyes. Cover your eyes. They're walk. Shut. Walk. Okay, they're, they're shut. They're shut. Walk. Walk forward. Sh shut them. Shut them. Close them. You can walk forward. There's a little rock there. Walk forward. Now stick this out. All right. He's coming. He's coming. Oh Open God. your eyes. Oh. Hey, big boy. This is Demetrius. And he oh my is a giant anteater. He's going to lap up that honey there. You guys can see that huge sticky tongue. He loves himself a little bit of honey treat. Oh, Isn't that cool? God, the tongue. Super, super cool. He would use that tongue to get a bunch of ants. I'm kind of talking to my mom and talking to you guys on the camera, so just follow along with me. But look at that. It's super cool, right? He's a big boy. He's a big, nice boy. And he has this whole jungle here to hang out in. I want to get him some ants for a future video. If you guys want to see that, comment down below. Did you like that? Big sticky nose, you can pull this out a little bit. Oh, look, it's shooting down there. That tongue is so long. Good boy, Demetrius. He's a big boy. And guys, this is actually one of the most dangerous animals in captivity. There are more injuries from giant ant eaters than any other animal in captivity. And that is a fact. They have huge claws on their feet, which I'll try to show you now as he's going through there. They're just so unpredictable, and although they're slow and they're cute, they're really powerful, and those claws are meant for ripping up tree bark with all sorts of bugs in it. You can see there those claws on those feet. When he wants to, they can mean business. But when we're just giving him some honey and he's just coming for some love, it's not too big of a deal. Is that my little fingers there? He's a good boy. He says, that's not, that's not my honey too. What the heck? Perfectly adapted nose to stick down those little ant holes and pick out all those bugs. No, he can't hurt with his mouth. His mouth is just two little lips and that long tongue. He doesn't look nice to me. Oliver's a good boy. Oliver's, Oliver's a good boy. He's just reaching out for some love, for some treats. Here, Tim, you want to open your hand and give him some treats? He wants a little piece. Oh, you can give him some there. Good boy. Now, these guys you've seen in a lot of different movies and TV shows. They're brilliant. They're super smart. They're able to learn all sorts of tricks and things, so that's why you've seen them in Hollywood. Night at the Museum, just to name one of the most popular movies here. Give me more, please, Mama. There you go. Oh, little there you go. Here, give him another piece. There you go. You might recognize all this red clay because we're here at the porcupine enclosure. Now this girl, she's being a little protective right now because she's with her boyfriend over there. She's saying, stay away from my area. I have big quills and I'm not afraid to stick them through that fence. These little guys are just amazing to watch. They have those big quills there, and they almost got me one time in a previous episode. Not yet, though. Not yet. How do they use that? Well, what they'll do is they'll run up to you, and they'll back it up. Or if a predator's coming at them, they're going to flare it all up or use some of those big teeth there. They're like a big guinea pig. They have is these big chompers. The no, there's not poison, but sometimes it does get dirt and poop and bacteria. So if you get that in your leg, that's a bad infection, especially when you're out in Africa. You guys can see these guys have quilled lions before. 
obviously you need some crazy armor to defend yourself from lions in the wild. So this right here, a little stack of spikes does just the trick. Sometimes, sometimes the lions are able to get away with it. We're just walking to one of the next enclosures and my mom's getting to meet Hank. What do you say, okay. Mr. Hank? Wow, look at those eyes. Give him a little pet there. Hank loves some little scratches. I'm trying not to tell my mom what's in the enclosures before we walk in, so it gets to be some sort of surprise. But she sees a little head sticking out there. Hi, little buddy. Hi, little buddy. Are you gonna come out for us today? Oh, and back in the hole. So these are lesser anteaters. They're called tamanduas. And it looks just like Demetrius that we saw earlier, except they're a little smaller and their color's a little different. Now that's their full size right there. We'll go up and see what they look like inside of that too, but I don't know if they're gonna come out for us. They're kinda lazy. Climb on up there, mama bear. He's coming out to say hi. Can I pet oh, him? Oh, look at that. Yeah, you can pet him on the head. You can pet him. Oh, mm. look at that. He's saying, what's going on out here? There's a party or something. Oh, wow. Hi. These little guys are just hanging out here on this hot day. Hi, little buddies. I think they might come out for us, but I don't know. There's a head poking out there now. But anyway, let's keep going to the next enclosure. Oh, Kunto's being a good boy today. He's coming up to pay my mom a visit. You can go a little bit closer there. Look how magnificent he is. Now, usually regular tourists would have to be behind here. Girls coming up. Regular tourists would have to be behind this fence, but still you could see them from this close. Not many zoos. You can see the big cats up close and personal like this. Big old tongue licks there. Head scratchies. Head scratchies, you like head scratchies. My mom's telling me be careful. This is just what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. And again, it's the first time she sees what I do here. And what we do here. And what we, what we do and have fun for big licks. All right, guys, my mom is waiting over here. She doesn't know who she's about to see. Oh, look who it is. Oh it's God. little friend. It's our little friend, Limbani. Come here. Oh Can we go? Hi, Can we go over here? We've got the monkey man out. Now, my mom has met Limbani before, but she hasn't seen him in a while. Now, he definitely remembers her because they have such good photographic memory. We have to go this way because the leash, the leash is only for his protection, as you guys know, if you guys watch the channel. Not like he's gonna do anything bad, but he might accidentally get a little close to those lions, which could hurt him, and we don't want the lions to get hurt or him to get hurt, so that's why we have it. He's on the tree, he's hanging out. Ah. Oh, can we go over here? Go up the tree, up the tree. All the way up, swing around. They're putting on a show for us. What is that? Come on. He's oh, he's peeing. Do you guys hear that? What is that? Lions are roaring over here, putting on a show for my mom. Sit. High five. Good boy. Knuckle touch, knuckle touch. Oh yeah, pound it, pound it, knuckles. There you go. Good boy. We're all just hanging out here at the end of our tour, but we have a surprise after this, guys, so stick around because my mom is going to meet some really cool little animals. We've just opened up our next enclosure. Tammy's going in. She doesn't know what to expect. You gotta remember, for me, this is not new, but for her, all this is new. Walk over there. Let's go up. Let's go up and see. Now, some of you guys might remember what this is. You see the little feet hanging out there. Oh, my goodness. oh it's a baby. Yeah, there's a baby in there. Aww. Baby laying on top of its mama. It's just a little baby. That's Landon. That's what I used to look like. <laughs> and that's you. Can you pet it? Yeah, you can pet the baby. The mom's really nice. Little baby sloth. Oh my goodness. She's coming out. Mom's feeding her. There you go, Coco. She's not too sure of how to get a whole mouthful of it. It's a big piece of corn there. 
Look at her go. She's just getting so big from when we first showed her on the channel. We got little Coco out now. What do you think, Mom? Mm -hmm, she's so cute. She's adorable. Her little eyes, she's just growing so big. She's looking up at Mama saying, are you my real mama? I'm not your no, mama. No, that's my mama. <laughs> you need to go back with your mama though. You can put her back up. Mama's looking up there. Oh, no, she's not. She doesn't even care. She doesn't care about her baby. She says, I'm going to eat this corn right here because that is some good stuff. Coco baby's going back. What a cute little family. It's adorable. You see the way she climbs Hi. back onto her mama there? Mama's reaching oh out with God. her ET like claws. What's up, ET fingers? Hi. That's what Coco's gonna look like one day. Maybe not the most beautiful thing in the world, but she's a sweetheart. All right, we have to be really quiet because we have our next little friend to show my mom. She's waiting over here. All right. All righty. Mama's waiting over here with a surprise. All right, open your eyes. We have a baby here. We oh have a baby God. here. She's a little, she's a little nervous. Little Delilah is just hanging out. This is one of my mom's first times seeing the cubs. What do you think? So cool. She is so cute. She's adorable. How many were there in the, in the litter? Just her. So guys, that is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as my mom enjoyed her little Mother's Day gift. Delilah, are you having a good time? <laughs> Delilah's ready to go back with her brother, but I will see you guys in the next adventure. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys next time.